is how do we actually take some of the concepts, the core concepts of leadership, and actually how do we just become that, or how does that be in our entire day, right? Or just be the makeup of, of who you are and what you do, right? So that's, that's the idea, and that's what I want to spend some time on. This, this morning, I'm only going to be able to, to get into to one concept, but if it's a concept that if you apply in your life, and if you look for the areas to see where it's lacking, you'll get great results from it. Your performance and your profits will go up, and that's how it, it affects, ties right in with leadership, okay? So what I want to talk about here is actually how do we, we be a leader? You know, how do, what does that look like? One of the core concepts of being a leader is being a person that people trust. Would you agree? People will follow you if they what? People will buy from you if they what? People will have an extended relationship with you if they what? If they trust you. Now, <clears throat> when I wrote the book Leadership by Choice, Trust, I defined it as belief. People have a belief in you a belief in your ability, okay? Now, how does that translate to actually on the, on the, the arena of, of leadership, actually in a, in a being sense? Well, more research and figuring this out and seeing, okay, actually how do we, we become this person of trust and just being this is very simple, and you might have even heard this before, is to simply do this. Honor your what? Word. Honor your word. Now, it's, it's when you might have heard this before, but I don't want you to collapse it with, with keeping your word. Keeping your word means at all costs or anything, you're going to, you know, Jason, if I said I'm going to meet you at 5 o'clock on Friday, I'm going to meet you at 5 o'clock, and if, I, if I'm going to keep my word, no matter what happens, if I have to lie to somebody else, or I have to deceive somebody else just to keep my word. Does that make sense? Then there's no really, why, why am I keeping my word, right? So honoring our word is things will, life happens, right? But the idea here is to still keep, honor your word. You honor your word. And if something does happen, I would communicate to you ahead of time and let you know. Make sense? Okay, so that's why this whole, this whole principle, so if you go around and just, just honoring your word, and just the very small things as well, hey, uh, I'm going to, you know, I told you I'll, I'll call you back, you know, oh, I need to send that email out, whatever it is, if you're looking for areas and to see where is it that our word is not as strong, and here's why I say about that. When we don't honor our word, we, you know, or people, they don't honor their word, you'll see we have, tend to have uh, sorry people. Oh, sorry, why I'm late. Oh, sorry, I didn't get that proposal done. Oh, sorry, we didn't get that account. Oh, sorry, we didn't get that job on the construction site. Oh, sorry, this happened. Sorry. And there's, you know, they're sorry because they can't produce anything because their word doesn't mean anything. 